What's the crack lads? Welcome back. Just another quick video. We're actually going to be looking at some gameplay from the Turkey event that was on for eFootball 25 yesterday and a roundup of everything else. Let's get straight into it. All right, first up, we're going to take a look at the new shielded, which now looks to be body contact, which is automatic, right? So it's similar to PES 2021. It's not going to be triggered. Maybe shielding will still be in manually, but it looks like that they're veering away from that and they're just going to leave that automatic or contextual. And we're going to show you a difference here between them. This is a little clip. This will probably be in the trailer on Wednesday when they do the live stream. But this is gameplay from eFootball 2024. Currently on the left, you've got the manual where you're going to be triggering it yourself. And then you've got the auto or the contextual, which is going to be a mixture of animations and stats and strengths of the player. That is going to be automatic. They've also talked about finesse dribble, right? So this is going to be a brand new, or should I say a return of finesse dribble, because it's been in the game before where you're kind of side shuffling or you're side dribbling. Not much really to go into that, only to feel it in your hands when it does actually release. Now over on Twitter as well, there were a couple of people at the Turkey event. There was some clips gone up on Twitter. Um, so shout out to the boys over on Turkey here, or over at the Turkey event here. And this is just some gameplay from the mobile event, right? So it's up on the big screen. Um, and to be honest with you, I mean, let me know your thoughts on this. I'm not a massive mobile player, but you can see that they're doing the little finesse dribbling there. The passing looks crisp. The graphics look a lot crisper um, compared to, you know, what, when I last played it. I probably will dabble a little bit with the, the mobile content this year. I'll do a couple of videos. A lot of people asking me for it. And uh, we'll give it a go and we'll see how it goes. Because I do feel that console is still going to be my choice. But, you know, all the packs are the same. All the players are the same. The player builds. Everything is pretty much the same in all the news. So it's going to be interesting. And obviously it's so accessible as well. Now, speaking of accessible, I have seen a lot of chatter about this brand new Smart Assist. Okay. So this is a feature that Konami say is going to be in a test phase and they're going to be testing it. And this smart assist, from what they say here, hopefully they provide a bit more information on this, right? But they say that it's going to automatically provide assistance with shooting strength, dribble and direction, and etc. So there's going to be other factors in this, depending on the situation, excuse me. So it's going to be, again, contextual stuff. We are planning on conducting a survey in the future so when customers can enjoy the game, so please let us know your thoughts. Now... I have heard two different theories on this or two different kind of, you know, talk points or points of view. I've heard that it's going to be like more of a kind of like an accessibility type thing um, for people that maybe are, are playing that need some sort of assistance. Like a lot of games are doing that now at the moment. You know, if, if obviously if you're, you know, visually impaired or if you've got something, you know, that uh, you might find it hard to press the buttons in a certain way. And they're, they're bringing this into a lot of video games now. You know, accessibility options is a huge thing. Um, and I feel like that that could be it. Or also, this needs to be something that we need to watch. I've touched on this in the live stream. I've touched on it in the previous two videos that we were looking at. It's very interesting that they say that they're going to be in the test phase of this. It says we will be testing. They're not saying this is going to be in for launch and that's it. So I'm going to be interested to see what this feature looks like. It does sound to me gameplay related that it's going to be obviously everyone's going to use it. If, if people can get an advantage, they're going to use it. I mean, if, if, if people can, you know, get ahead, they're going to use it. So it's going to be interesting how they balance this, whether they tone down the AI and bring this assistance up a little bit for gameplay stuff, or it's kind of a mixture of both. We also had screenshots as here. These are just a little bit more high res than the previous video that we brought up. Obviously, this is on mobile as well, but you can see Garnacho's got his face there. Hoyland, you've got the crowds, you've got the banners in the crowds, you've got rain. It's It looks okay. I mean, this is obviously going to be blown up from a mobile screen. Um, and obviously, you know, it's not going to look as crisp as the console. In fairness, the, the console, the high res stuff does look pretty tasty. Um, in, in, in the fact that like, you know, it's not a beautiful looking game. But it does enough, you know, and obviously here you have the snow effects as well. Um, and you've just got a couple of a, a couple of the Byron players there as well, right? So yeah, all in all, man, I mean, they did give out a bit of information. The live stream will be on Wednesday as well. And a lot of people have just been asking me about the mobile game, about the smart assist, about how the shoulders are going to work, the shoulder charge, uh, the finesse dribbling. So hopefully that clears some things up for you. Last question to cover as well. They did release, obviously, there's going to be... A new Messi, this is the this is going to be the 27th version of Messi, a 27th version of a Messi card uh, from eFootball 22 all the way up to now. There's been 26 already. This is what you're going to get. I've already covered it, the Leo Messi edition, deluxe and standard. You get coins back, you get 250 for the standard, 450 for the, the deluxe. You get three extra players, 
for a total of 10 highlight players in the deluxe. I've heard that it could be three legends and seven regular with the deluxe. Or, and then you get the same seven highlight without the legends or without the big time cards with the standard. But that's not confirmed yet. And then also you are going to be getting the same with Neymar, right? So Neymar is going to be getting a card as well. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about this. Obviously, when they originally put out these graphics, they didn't have on the bottom. You can see there PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One and Windows. But they didn't have iOS, uh, Steam. Or they also didn't have Android, right? So, or, you know, or mobile, whatever, right? But they did put out a follow-up tweet um, that you're going to see here. And this is Neymar, obviously, from Bra Brazil's 2014 campaign um, when he was, you know, playing pretty decently, in fairness. He should be pretty decent. But they did put out a follow-up tweet, which you can see here, which is going to confirm that all of these will be available as well. So it looks like this for console and PS5 and Xbox and everything is going to be in uh, real coins. And this is going to be from the shop for Steam, iOS and Androids. You can purchase the premium ambassador pack, Leo Messi and Neymar from the shop menu in the game. So this is going to be obviously on mobile. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back. Obviously, we're just pumping out the content. If you guys want to subscribe, please do. We will be streaming for the rest of the week. Hope to see you in the chat and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.